Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Alcoholic Phoenix here and welcome to episode number 5 of my Amissa Let's Play series for Ark Survival Evolved. So, today I would like to hunt around for an Argy, if I can get one. So we've got some more carry weight to us and stuff like that. I really don't think there's any way we're going to get back that stuff from over there unless we have something to kill all those dinos. And I don't think any level Pteranodon is going to be able to do it, personally. I don't think it matters what level it is, I think we'd just be screwed. Um, I put those that spike away in here, did I not? I did. I only need the one. Okay, apparently just give me the two even though I hold shift, whatever. I just want to protect our Stego. Even though it seems like things can get through around the back of the river here. So maybe even I might put another one of those there or something. I don't know. Absolute unit should be fine though. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set his behavior to neutral. So then I don't have to worry too much about him. And he should be able to do his thing and be pretty alright. The same as this guy. I'm going to set his behavior to neutral as well. So he doesn't just stand there and take it. Now, I'm going to need food of some description, um, which I guess then we'll need something to cook it in. So we're going to need at least a campfire to do this. Alright. I thought I had one, but apparently I do not. Um, yeah, I can fit it here. That'll do, right? Uh, do I have meat in here? I do. I have plenty of meat in there. Let's do that. And then grab some wood. Set that up. Let's just slow-mo 20 it for a second. Alright, so yeah, I, I'm not exactly sure where the RG spawns are on this map. I have absolutely no idea. So it's going to be trial and error. We're just going to have to look around and see. So let's jump into some comments. TCO Spade said, how's the day, by the way? Name the Stego Boba Fett. Well, there's one possible choice. You know what? Actually, I kind of like Boba Fett. Uh, change name. Yeah, we'll do it like that. That looks good. All right, hopefully, we should have enough meat cooked now to go on a journey. Across the lands. Searching far and wide. Uh, oh, we actually got some more of these, so let's make some more tranks. No problem. Arrows. See if we can make another 20 or so. We'll just have those on backup. In case we get into trouble, we can um, at least kill something, possibly. Arrows definitely are faster to make than the tranks. Alright, there we go. Okay, uh, let's see. Connor Christensen said, I tried to play this map with uh, Pugnacci dinos and some other dino mods and I couldn't even get a base up. Yeah, that's a definite issue. Oh, that was, that was actually, yeah, okay, yep. And then Jake Edwards said, lol, the pyramid, I didn't know you could go up to it if it wasn't finished yet. It looks exciting though, thanks pal. At least you managed to get your Tyranodon back. Would eating rare flowers into the ground and then flying everything away be of any use? I know you kind of tried that, but I was thinking flowers actually attract dinos all the same. I enjoyed today's episode. Cheers, pal. Um, it's possible. I haven't seen any rare flowers around though is the issue. I don't even know where I'd go to get those on this map. It's partly the problem. Oh, is a Rexy Poo. How you doing? What's happening over here? Oh, that Diplo is fucked. Let's help it. Let's help it. Maybe we can knock the Rex. I know the Diplo is not going to obviously hurt the Rex any. What level is this Rex? 85. That's not bad. Pissed at me there. 
No, I want the Diplo kill. I want the levels from it. Yes. Thank you, sir. Okay, we could definitely knock this thing. Is there anything else hostile around? Not that I can see. We can kind of just kite it around. As long as we're careful. Oh, we'll be able to knock you easy. Look at that. No trouble, mate. Get our damage output out there. You can do that all you want, dude. You gotta be getting close to feeling something, right? Let's move up a little bit further. Hopefully land some more shots on this guy. Alright, we've gotten nearly 20 arrows into this guy. On a pretty high level bow. There we go. Keep hitting him. Don't attack anything that's going to kill you. Oh, I hit him after he went out. Fuck. Okay. We got him down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Voice just cracked real bad. Um, okay. He should be good. Hopefully nothing will attack him. Takes a while to run back over. Uh, Control Lot Llama said, I think you're falling off your Tyranodon is a perfect analogy of this game. Being just one small mistake can take ages to remedy. To the point that it's easier just to say fuck it and start over. I'm not complaining though, 46 minute episode all the way. Sorry again about Peaky Beaky by the way, I'll stop giving advice if it is your survival you dudes. But if you want another, you actually knocked one of those raptors out when taming the Tyranodon. Okay. Yeah, I did knock one of them out, but... I don't know whether I could even go back and do anything about it. It'd probably be woken up by now anyway. To be honest. We got Prime on us, which is sweet. We got Prime from that Diplo. So getting this wreck should be no trouble. Right. Probably just sit on the bird, to be honest. Okay. Uh, Mobile Lethal X said you can get fungal wood from the giant mushrooms. I think... I think we're in the Redwoods. Also name the Tyranid on Speed Ranger if you want, like that old movie Speed Racer, but Ranger because you turned... or you tamed it when you died to the cursed rage. Keep up the awesome work. Thank you, dude. I will. Right. So... Uh, Eco RG said, I'll oh, be waiting for the ARC mobile video. Yes, that may happen in the future. And Taha Maluk said, nice video. Try and tame an RG. Well, that was the plan, but it looks like we're going to be getting a Rex. I really wish this Bronto would get off my tame. And this Rex is taming actually decently fast. 69% in one shot, dude. That is great. Uh, let's do slow-mo 20 quickly. Right, the Rex should be pretty close to waking up. I think it's 50 food that it does. Okay, yeah, it's super close. All right, there's lots of trikes around here, man. There's no shortage of trikes if you want a trike. This Bronto is driving me crazy, though. I think that gives it... Does that give it a, this a buff? Because that didn't have the buff before, did it? That gives this, this a buff. It's like it's a defensive buff. 
Nice, dude. Level one, two, one, Rex. Alright, um... You need to follow me. You're gonna take your time crossing this water, and that's fine. Maybe we'll do slow-mo five, just so we don't have to wait around as long, because he's gonna take a while. Look at him. Uh, let's also whistle passive on him for now. Oh, okay. Did he just... Did he just step over the spikes? <laughs> okay. Oh, stay there. Just give me a minute, dude. Give me a minute. We need a Rex saddle. And then we need to... Make said Rex saddle probably in here. Rex. Boom. Got it. So that take took basically all the metal we did have. Oh, I took the majority of it. Not all of it, though. That's good. At least we got a little bit left. Alright. I mean, we could have a chance if we wanted to walk this guy all the way over to that biome. I think that would be pushing it, though. So we started with 4,000 health, uh, 1,000 stam, 730 weight, 277 melee damage, and 100% movement speed. Let's go buff damage a bit. Then we'll just work on health for a lot of it. Probably definitely be buffing health quite a bit. Let's take him out, actually. Um, how you doing, dude? What level are you? Oh, shit. You are worth it. No. No. I didn't hit him directly in the head. Oh well. Yeah, we could try taking him out, considering he seems to just want to... Well, actually, do you have... One of you has meat on you, for sure, because he's going to eat all the prime. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to leave that on him. Would you have meat on you? Of course you wouldn't. You're a vegetarian. Why would I think you would have meat on you? Oh, you do, though. You're fucking dandy with meat. There we go. Give me that. Even though it's going to spoil anyway, I'm going to put that in there. Okay, Rexy. Let's head out on an adventure, Al. Let's see what dinos there is for you to mess up. Get you nice and leveled. So if we right click. Okay, you're just done, son. Yep. Level 130, dead as fuck. The trees are driving me a little nuts, so I think I'm maybe I'm going to do a bit of deforestation. Oh man, this Rex is already out of stem. There's a raptor right there. He wouldn't attack the Rex, would he? Would he go the Rex? No, he wouldn't. Let's see. Oh, he would. No, he won't attack the Rex, but he's trying to get to me. Right? Look at this. They all want a piece of my ass. Can I stand on his tail, maybe? One thirty-five, one forty-five, one forty-five. They're pretty good levels, dude. You reckon I can hit it? Okay, ready? We're gonna try this. Come to me. Well, that got their attention. It's hard to hit them because of the tail. Ah, fuck.
I got it again. Could you not shake your tailpipe next time, dude? I think we can totally knock this. Alright, it's one. Where did it go? They're running. You are unconscious, my friendo. We get a nice little raptor army girl, maybe. Ooh. You're a quick eater. Good on ya. Come on. Come back, raptors. Come back and face me like a man. These are the raptors that killed me earlier. I want to tame their ass. They're just gone. They booked it. They just fucked off never to return. How are you going? 75%? So do raptors, don't they get a pack bonus or something of that nature as well now? Well, I see some over here, I think. They're hanging about. There's micro raptors. Fuck those guys. What level are you, Pteranodon? Eh, not really worth it. We've got high level dino spawning, which is great. You've done three shit since we've been standing here, mate. Are you a bit constipated? Oh, shit. Nice. 217 a rappy tour. How you doing, friend? Nice. We're getting these dinos all tamed up now. Where are you? How are you not keeping up with a Rex? Its sprint is so slow. Come to think about it. Alright, are you going to attack me? You are not. Okay, you are. Whoop. Oh, what the fuck? Shit, this raptor might die. Ah, would have been nice to have 135 terabit as well, man. We would have had, like, quite a little collection going early on. How's your health doing, dude? You must be fucked. Yeah, you are. You're in a bit of shit. All right. We've got to make sure we uh, head you back into base, because otherwise you are going to die. We need to get you all stitched up. What the fuck do you think you two are doing? Come here! Come here. Come 
Fuck. Get it off me. Get it off me. Ah! You fucking dick. We'll get all these guys. Shit. Um... What I'm going to try and do. So I'm going to step in here. Trank arrows. Boom. Right, here we go. We're going to get this raptor. We are getting it. It does take quite a bit of damage going over that, and the audio did skip as well, which was a horrid noise. Gotcha! Nice! Mate, we are making progress tonight! Uh, let's see if there's any raw prime left. Yes, there it is. Wasn't one of these guys a 150? You're a 145 female, which is great. Oh, instant tame. You are... a 135. So we've got two 145s and a 135. That is real good. You are in deep trouble, my friend. You follow me. Alright, let's get the raptor army over here somewhere. Hell yeah. Ow! Fuck. Okay, we need to kind of line this guy up semi-nice. Man, the turning radius on these guys sucks. Awesome. Now we need some Raptor saddles, which I already learned. I remember learning them. Uh, we need to craft it in this. Maybe? No, this. Can I get three? Yep. Good stuff, dude. And I also need to force feed this guy before he dies. Uh, you have a lot of meat on you, don't you, Rexy? You do indeed. Alright, we need to force tame this guy. Make sure he doesn't die. We need to get saddles on all the other ones. We can actually breed them, which is really cool. If we choose to. Let's go over here. Line you up. Nice and neatly. Let's also put the spike wall back down so I don't have to fear stuff just running in here. Clearly worked for the raptors very well. I'm not exactly sure why they ran back to my base though. Like, how, how that works. Because that's the first thing they did when they started to, like, get hit with my arrows. They, like, sprinted back to the base. Let's do slow-mo 10. Whoops. And then let's do whoop, this. And just pump its food back up. Get his health to full. Nice. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Alright. 
You got levels, little buddy. So what did you start off with? 1240, 630, 235, 408, and 151.2. Not bad at all. You're a quick little, quick little guy, aren't you? So we've got the pack leader. This is my pack leader. The highest level one out of them all. Uh, yep. Nice. This one looks super cool. Alright, let's have a look at them. Alright, so we need a name for this female. So you got to state... What I want you to do is I want you to state the level for the raptor. So this is the 187 female. This is the 202 female. And this is the 221 male. So I need names for all three raptors and names for the 122 Rex. But you don't need to obviously state the level for the Rex, because I know I've only got one Rex. So that's not too hard to figure out. Holy shit! You're a cool looking Pteranodon. Oh, I nearly got it. Alright, fantastic. This looks dope. Look at that. Look at how cool that is. Amazing, amazing, dude. Alright. Fantastic. I think this episode has been very progress-filled in terms of taming. Maybe not as progress-filled in terms of, like, getting shit done in other ways, but definitely taming has been... Fantastic. I think what we're going to do is we're going to expand the base slightly in the next episode as well as get an RG. Those are the two things on my list to get done in the next episode for sure. Well, that's what I'd like to get done anyway, if possible. Um, yeah, I think, I think, well, maybe we could do a little bit of the base expansion now. I guess it couldn't hurt. I need to get the gun again, though. Uh, what is it? Demo? Oh, wait, I don't need to do that. I just need demo. Demo gun. And then we're going to need to try and get, like, wooden stuff. Uh, what way can we expand? We can go a little bit further to the right, I feel like. Yeah, we'll do that. Alright, um, and then I'm gonna need a bunch of wooden stuff. So we'll just do this quickly. Get a bunch of wood. I should honestly have a fair bit of fibre inside of the base. Um, yeah, I do. Okay, so wood. Let's go more wood foundations. Is two enough? Maybe four more wide. And we're going to need... Oh, jeez. As many walls as I can get for the moment. Do that. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Oops. I mean, I think... I guess a bit of... Whoop. We need to make sure you're not going to get stuck in there. I guess a bit of shape couldn't hurt as well. Uh-huh. Whoops. A bit of shape definitely couldn't hurt. I'll make that a window. Let's just get more wood now. Lack of wood. Uh, we can go two more of those. And then we need window. And then more walls. We actually need some ceilings. So we can only make the two of those, so we're going to need more of those for sure. Let's get our deforestation project on the way. OK, 
Okay, we move so slow when we're when we're crafting stuff. There we go. Okay, so I say do this. And then that might do us. We can have a nook here for stuff. Maybe we'll do another nook here as well. Well, actually, what could be cool? What if we did it with varying height? Um, so then we go like this. You know, that bit suspended. I don't know what is up with the random sounds, but they're freaking me out. Five on top, and then six. Ceiling, 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 ceiling. Oh, could we do a sloped? Sloped. Sloped. Slope to wooden roof. I don't have enough thatch. Do I have ah thatch in here? Barely. Oh, okay then. Let's get some from over here. Non-issue. Uh, sloped roofs. So we'll try that. I want to see if this works. Because if this does, it could be, I don't know, just, just a little bit of variation, really, in the way the base looks. Uh, I think it's Q to flip it around. Yeah, it's Q. Okay. And then we're going to need our little pieces sloped. We're going to need that and that. Sloped, one right, one left. Did I make the normal ones? Of course I did. Why wouldn't I have? Again, that drives me nuts that that's a thing. Nice. I don't know what exactly I could put there. But it, it's just a little bit of variation in the base would never hurt. You know what? Maybe that could be our bed spot. Maybe that could be it. This is like our reading. This is like our living space. Do we have like a bedside? What about a table? What tables do we have? Just a wood table? What about if we put a crafting station there? So let's do crafting. That could be like our little bedside table. I mean, it's it's fucking extreme for a bedside table, but you never know. I don't know. I guess that's it's kind of different, right? Um, and then I need this. And we're going to put this over here. We're going to get it in nice and tight. Okay, apparently we're not. Alright then. Uh, trying to make sure it doesn't clip through the wall too much. It's probably going to clip right out the back, isn't it? Oh well. That'll do, and then let's do that. Put that back in there. You can actually put the, that stuff in there too. The campfire could be moved. Uh, across somewhere. Mm. We can just go in this corner for now, actually. Oh, damn it. Right, I think it just adds a little bit more space to the base. You can go over there for a moment. You can chill over there. 
So, anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more Ark Survival Evolved in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, poise.